Some people are looking back, way back, to make eating a little simpler. You may have heard it called the caveman diet or the paleo diet. As Natalie Shepard reports, it's gaining popularity. Humans have come a long way from the days of hunting and gathering in the forest. We evolved, learned how to farm. And now, thousands of years later, the grocery store is stocked with all kinds of choices. Maybe too many. I have a big sweet tooth. So that's really hard. For Stevie Lanza and Michelle Rosado, working makes it a challenge to eat healthy. So they decided to return to a simpler way of eating. I just noticed I gain more muscle, you know, my waist side's smaller and feel better. Some call it the caveman diet or the paleo diet. Either way, it harkens back to what our ancestors used to eat. Meat, vegetables, seeds, nuts, and some fruit. That means dairy and grains are out. Do you think it's something that is a sustainable way of life? Yeah, I usually tell people, like, I don't like calling it the paleo diet because once you start, it just turns into your lifestyle. It's definitely a lifestyle for Jordan Winshower, who first heard about the paleo diet at her gym. So I did it for a month. It was a 30-day challenge, and I ended up losing five inches. And then we did it a second month, and I lost five more inches. But she missed baked goods. So she figured out a way to make muffins, breads, granola, the paleo way. We have figured out a way to solve cravings without having to cheat from the paleo diet. She's developed it into a business called the Paleo Box. She brought along items for us to try, all made with almond flour and almond butter. Only sweetener in that, well, there's vanilla in it and honey. Okay, well, it looks good, <laughs> smells good. And it tastes good too. And customers agree. In just four months, Windshower has launched a website and is thinking about a commercial kitchen. Everyone who's hearing about it is trying it and sharing it, and the interest level in general is going up. Lanza is even thinking about introducing a paleo menu, a new way to eat, by looking to the past. That was Natalie Shepard reporting. The paleo diet is also gluten free, so it works for people with some chronic health problems. Some nutrition experts argue that our bodies have adapted to be able to process grains and dairy.